Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, HaRakar, Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. And Shalom to the whole full leg. It's the Pyre of the JMS London camp. And uh, this is News and Prophecy, Prophecy and News. I have an article here from... Um, um, the BBC, I was going to go into... One moment... from the BBC News, all right? And um, the title reads, Barking, severe weather, lightning and torrential rain hit capital, all right? And the reason why I'm highlighting this is because barking is, is where um, we used to prophesy, really starting with um, the Elder Rakaia Kwam, uh, Elder Rakaia Makabash, um other brothers as well. Actually, I, I was watching the camp there. <laughs> it's actually my my hometown where um, everyone knows me and I know everyone kind of thing. And um, that's where the brothers were prophesying, all right? And it, more or less a localised storm hit barking, a tornado, tornado. Now, if you know anything about the UK... Tornadoes in all my years upon this earth, there's never been no tornadoes that I know of in in the U you know in the UK, let alone in London. All right, and maybe you know that's that's to cool to my knowledge. Maybe there may have been some freak accident, but the point of what I'm really saying is that this is an act of the Heavenly Father. All right. Now, um, this, as I said before, the brothers used to prof. This, this where, more or less, as far as my knowledge, you know, takes me. But this is where, in terms of London, dealing with the GMS camp, um, you know, the main GMS camp. Basically, this is one of the main. This, that's this. This area is actually the main place where they're prophesying. All right. Which as well is actually a fisherman town, all right? When you look into the history, it's actually known for, for fishing. And um, quite a few of us brothers are from this town and this borough, ultimately. And um, so, you know, it, it's quite spiritual that this happened. Because this, this is very crazy. Let me actually just use it in this. So I'm going to go to this article, read through it. I've got some other points to bring out. Lord willing, you be edified. So it reads, it says, um, some residents described seeing what looked like a tornado, all right? A lightning strike and high winds have damaged houses, roads and vehicles embarking, the Met Police has said. Police were called to Hulse Avenue area, the bloody hell, <laughs> at about 19, uh, 7, 1920, being seven seven twenty in the evening, all right. British summertime. After the officers described, after what officers described as a weather-related incident, residents also reported damage to electrical equipment, street, electrical equipment, street furniture, and some surrounding roads. Barking and Dagenham Council said there had been severe weather damage in the area. Some locals described it as a tornado on social media. Uh, this is the video. Oh, okay, that saves me having to go to the video I had. Weather update. We're aware of the se severe weather damage in the Barking area and our immediate response team, along with the police and fire brigade, are on hand sorting any issues as soon as we hear of any further information we will let you know now Barking is a town in East London in and, and the places I'm really talking about this is like a very small concentrated area it's probably like a couple thousands of people being in this within the, in the realms of London like this is just a town within East London which is crazy. Mm -hmm. 
Mind you, this happened in the summertime, and even that area is like close to where I lived for many years of my life. So I know all these areas very, very well. So it says a tornado, a tornado is rapidly rotate, uh, is rapidly rotating um column of air that reaches between the base of a storm cloud and the Earth's surface. According to the Met Police, if the column does not reach the surface, it's classed as a funnel cloud. Most tornado, tornadoes, although they produce damaging winds, do not lead to widespread destruction. The Met Police posted on Twitter, there are no reports of any casualties. Officers are li- liaison in with the local authority to ensure support is available to anyone affected by damaged property. And I read the tweet already. Now, that's another video. <laughs> Tornado embarking. What the hell? And as I said, I know these roles very well, man. Very, very well. So interesting. All right. So that's that. You know. So now I wanted to go to this. So mind you, barking is someone who prophesying for about a year or so. Um. No, quite a few years actually. No prophesying the truth. So um, this is I wanted to read this tweet, Mister Steal Your L. Um. Uh, Someone embarking better start repenting. Why the tornado only hit there? And that's the craziest thing, because, again... But, like, this is why the, it's the Heavenly Father. <laughs> it's crazy, because barking, like... Of all, even the fact that the word even kind of started out of there, it's like that Galilee, you know, like, is there anything that good that will come out of Galilee? Like, barking's like a... It's just, it's a bummy area. There's nothing there. Do you know, like, it's just, it's it's a real poor area. There ain't no, like, exuberant crime. There ain't no, like, there's nothing special about it in the realms of London. It's just a regular kind of, you know, working class, blue collar kind of town, basically. But the tornado pinpointed there. But it's just spirit that the first tw- tweet I come across was this one. It says, someone embarking better start repenting. Why the tornado only hit there? And really what it is, is down to the fact that the prophets was out there, man. Right? The prophets were out there um, prophesying the downfall of this kingdom. And that's where it really started at. All right? And this is, this is a sign of the times of what's to come. All right, so um, I'm going to read this. So this is Mark 6 and 10. It says, and he said unto them, in what place soever ye enter into an house, there abide till ye depart from that place. And what and whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. And many brothers were actually added into the faith over embarking. As I said, a lot of brothers are actually from there that are still in the faith to this day. And we and, and re- remarkably so, we all knew each other prior to being in the faith. So it's like, you know, I have, I have vivid, uh, you know, vivid memories of of brothers prior to coming in the faith right we all do of each other so let's read it again verse 11 and whosoever shall not receive you nor hear you when you depart thence shake off the shake off the dust of your feet for a testimony against them verily i say unto you it shall be more tolerable for sodom and gomorrah in that day in the day of judgment than for that city and look look what happened (laughs) There was a tornado that hit there, all right? So I want to show these videos. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, 
look at that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Bro. Man, it's the door. 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 It's the Yeah, that's that's definitely the Lord, man, man. Cause, <laughs> but like, I don't, I don't want to get too, you know, in my feelings about. It, but I'm really saying barking is 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 a note. Like, there's nothing there, and the only thing that's really there, the prophets was there, all right? And they basically did fulfill the scripture, the prophecies of these words, and you know, the Lord is showing the signs of the times, all right? Now there's one more scripture I want to hit and then um, leave it at that. No, Luke 13. So it's a book of Luke 13 and 1. So it says, um, there were present at the at season some that were told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Or those eighteen upon whom the tower of Siloam fell and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Alright? So these are these are various events that happened basically you know men that were making you know looking for atonement of their sins and they were slew you know slayed one as as, as they were doing it all right <laughs> showing that the repentance wasn't um basically was was wasn't um what's the word it wasn't um accepted before the lord all right and they, they were killed in doing so but then also you had the the uh, where a tower fell on eighteen. But it only said, look, are these these men are they sinners above those of the um that's in Jerusalem? No. So it said, basically the law was exalting that what I tell you nay verse five I tell you nay, but except ye repent, you shall all likewise perish. All right, and this is really this video is a show of repentance, man, because that tornado. It it really is, it really is crazy that something like that happened in the area such as Barking, right? And it can only be for one reason and one reason alone. The prophets were out there prophesying the downfall of this world, right? And that's where it really started at. To be fair, if you just go on um, Daily Motion, check out the uh, Dagenham Israelites. If the channel's still up there, you see the brothers out there from the beginning. So yeah, with that, I say praise to Yahweh, Bar Shemiel Shai, Bar Shemiel Rakakudash. So the next one.